Today in our 2017 Toyota Prius V, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the DrawType Class 1 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver. Here's what our hitch looks like once we have it installed. The cross tube is going to be visible, it's going to sit right down below the bumper, but it kind of goes back at an angle so it's not as noticeable. Our hitch is going to offer us an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. This would be great for bike racks, some smaller cargo carriers, or if you're going to do some light duty towing. Now the way we're going to mount any of our accessories is the hitch pin hole here on this side. It is going to accept a standard half inch pin and clip. Now these are not included in the kit, but you can pick them up here at eTrailer.com along with some locking devices so you can make sure your accessories are secure. If you are going to be doing some light duty towing, keep in mind that there is a specific drawbar made for this hitch and you can find it here at eTrailer.com. But our safety chain connection points are going to be a loop style, well to the bottom of the receiver tube. And as you can see, even with this smaller sized hook, we're going to be able to get it on and off pretty easy because we'll have plenty of room. Now whatever you're going to be using your hitch for, weight obviously is going to be a concern. Our hitch is going to have a 200 pound tongue weight, that's going to be the maximum downward force of the receiver tube, along with the 2,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount our hitch can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. But with all those numbers in mind, you always want to double check your previous owner's manual because you don't want to exceed the manufacturer's recommended towing weight. I'd like to give you a few measurements, and that's going to help you whenever you're looking for accessories for your new hitch, like a bike rack or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, you're right about three and a half inches. The measurement's going to come in handy when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough room and they're not going to come in contact with the rear bumper. Now from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's right about 13 inches. Now at that height, I would definitely recommend a bike rack or a cargo carrier with a raised shank that would get a little bit more ground clearance out of it. So now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To start out, we're going to come to the back of our Prius and we're going to move to the outside on the driver's side right on the frame rail. We'll find our factory tie down hook here. And if we look up on the bottom of the frame, we're going to find two bolts that are holding it in place. We need to pull those out, so we can grab a 17 millimeter socket and remove the two bolts. And once we have the tie-down hook removed and the bolts, we can set it aside and it's not going to get reinstalled. Now if we move over to the passenger side where our exhaust is, and we follow the muffler going forward, Right by the rear suspension, we'll find a muffler hanger. We're going to remove that rubber isolator so our exhaust can hang down a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of spray lubricant, I'm going to spray down the hanger, make it a little bit easier to slide it off. I'm going to take a pry bar, and I'm just going to pry on that isolator until it slides off the hanger. We're going to have one more if we move towards the back. Another one right here. So again, I'm just going to spray the hanger down and then use a pry bar to slide it off. Now if we look straight up right at that isolator, it's going to have a bracket attached to it with two bolts. It's still going to use that 17 millimeter socket and we're going to pull that whole bracket out. Except this time we are going to hold on to the bracket and the rubber isolator. So we should have two weld nuts on each side of the frame where we pulled down the tie down hook and our exhaust bracket. Those are going to be the four mounting locations to put our hitch up. Our hitch is going to come with new bolts and new washers. Now these are your conical tooth washers, so we got teeth on them. You want to make sure they're facing up towards the frame. We'll lift our hitch up, go through the hitch, and secure it using the new hardware. Now over on the passenger side, it's going to be the same hardware, but we want to make sure that our exhaust bracket is below our hitch, and it's actually going to sandwich our hitch between that bracket and the frame. So now with an extra set of hands, I'm going to lift my hitch up. I'm going to get it to line up with the holes. Then I'll take my exhaust hanger bracket, hold it in place, I'll grab one piece of hardware, I'm going to get it loosely in place, that way my hitch will support itself and I can get the rest of the hardware in. I'm 
And once you get your last piece of hardware in place, we can come back with either a 19 millimeter socket or a three quarter inch socket, and we're gonna snug up all our hardware. And you're gonna come back with a torque wrench and you're gonna torque all the hardware down to the specified amount of the instructions. You wanna make sure you repeat that for any remaining hardware you have. Finally, we can lift our exhaust back up. I like to spray a little more lubricant on there just to make it easier to put it back in. But with everything torqued down and put back in place, that'll finish up your install and you're ready to hit the road. That'll finish up your look at the DrawTight Class 1 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2017 Toyota Prius V.